Let's consider two layers of fluid. In a laminar flow, the only transport mechanism between these two layers is molecular mixing. And we saw in chapter 3 that the way we model the shear stress as a function of the velocity gradient is via the viscosity mu. In a turbulent flow between two layers, as well as molecular mixing, there is also mixing through turbulent eddies. And this happens over a much bigger scale than molecular mixing. But we use a similar model for the turbulent shear stress tau t in terms of the average velocity gradients, but this time the constant of proportionality is mu t called the eddy viscosity. So it's the viscosity that arises due to transport due to eddies. And of course the laminar viscosity mu is much much smaller than the eddy viscosity mu t. The eddy viscosity is a very useful concept but it varies throughout a fluid in ways that are very difficult to predict. It also takes no account of the fact that the apparent eddy viscosity can vary with direction in space as well as position in space. So it's not always very successful in calculations. In fact, finding a universal description of turbulence is often described as the last unsolved problem in classical mechanics, and there's a very good reason why it's unsolved. Nevertheless, in a smooth, straight pipe, the turbulence will behave in the same way again and again, and that means that the friction coefficient will only depend on the Reynolds number. If we measure this dependence experimentally, then we have a plot that is valid for all smooth straight pipes. So if I plot the log of the friction factor Cf against the log of the Reynolds number, I know that in the laminar region I have a straight line with gradient minus 1. I know that in the turbulent region log of the Cf tends to a constant. And in the transitional region, which is the one that's really difficult to model, I can measure how Cf depends on the Reynolds number. And all the physics of what's going on inside the flow is encapsulated within this plot. And to achieve useful results, I don't even need to know exactly what is going on.